We have to say it is the military, Aisha. Uh, we, we have to say that uh, Constantino Chichiwanga, the head of the army, who gave two uh, basically very forthright press conferences, the first of which was not run by the local uh, television, the Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation, but they did repeat it this morning. So that gives you an indication that the military are in control. They are being very careful with their words. They don't want to call it a coup. They want to say that Mr. Mugabe is still in control and that he is safe to use their words. But in any other word, in any other uh, a description, this is a takeover by the military. All right. They say uh, to use the military's own description or explanation of what is taking place, that they are targeting criminals around the president who are causing economic and social suffering. Who might they be responding to if we are to go along with this line of logic or argument? Well, you know, let's just reel back a bit. Uh, last week, they fired the vice president, Emerson Munangagwa, who had been at Mugabe's side for most of, of, of his uh, working life. He was arrested, remember, in 1960 uh, for, for political activism at his local university. And at that stage, uh, of course, Mrs. Mugabe hadn't yet been born. And the military's gripe is that Mrs. Mugabe has now taken over the functions of the state. She, ha she has seen a meteoric rise to power way back to three years ago when she fired the other vice president, Joyce Mujiru, another war veteran, another uh, a stalwart of the liberation struggle. And they're saying this cannot go on. Now, to answer your question, who are these criminals? There are two groups fighting for power in Zimbabwe. G40 which is led by Grace Mugabe and her faction. She has various followers, including Fisavia Kasukuere, Ignatius Chombo, the, the finance minister, and Jonathan Moyo, former minister of information. We do not know if these are the individuals the military is referring to, but certainly they are seen in the wider context of Zimbabwean political life as those very much behind Grace Mugabe.